this month's main test is the new Mercedes-Benz Actros 2663 LS, operated by Ranui Horge. Well, we've waited plenty long enough for the new Actros to get here, so why not start by sampling the top shelf from the application it was born for, a 2663 LS with stream space cab on floating line haul work. Mark and Rachel Fletcher's Ranui Haulage run two of the fantastically good looking new models on their contracts with Freightlines Limited. They took the plunge on the new model on the back of a superb run they're getting from a previous generation 2660. At the time of the test, Mark was running in the second of the new trucks and driver Johnny Baker was firmly ensconced in his new beast of very little burden. A risk taking on two new trucks to the market you might think, but the reality is really has a new range of trucks been so well prepped and their progress through pre-launch so well communicated to the market. From our first encounter back in July 2015, we've loved the new range. Nothing's interchangeable with its forebearers, it's a ground up new gig. EGRing a V motor is the stuff of sleepless nights for engine designers, so the new blue efficiency power family of engines are all beautiful straight sixes. Again, a clean slate design, these motors have all that man has learned about diesels factored into their genetics. The Ranui truck sport the big banger, 15.6 litre Euro 6OM473 with SCR, EGR and DPF. The engine produces a whopping 468 kilowatts and 3000 newton metres of torque. But because there's 2,500 newton meters available from 800 RPM and the curve is pretty much flat from 900 to 1400 RPM, the reality is the on-road get up and go and these motors even belies their impressive numbers. Match all this to the rapid fire shifts of the new PowerShift 3 AMT and it's a performance plus package. The big horse doesn't have the new Mercedes developed asymmetrical turbo, it's a compound turbo set up on these but it does have the X-Pulse variable high pressure injection system. There's no standard retarder on the new range and Mercedes has really talked up the new compression brake. And they're right, it's a honey. In three stages, stage three produces 475 kilowatts of hold back. It's not quite up to the voice on Mark's old girl, but he says she'll happily come down the southern side of the bomb bays at 50 tons, 80 clicks, holding steady, no brakes at 2150 RPM. Aside from the impressive powertrain, the inside of the Stream Space Cab is a world that makes an overnight run from Auckland to the capital an exercise in effortless. Flat floor cabs are still a fantastic thing to behold. With nothing between the driver's seats, there's 1.97 metres of stand-up and stretch room. Storage is cavernous and if you run out, then just face it, you're a hoarder and go get some counselling. There's a pull-out storage bin and a pull-out fridge under the bunk, so at day's end you can relax in the 700mm wide inner spring mattress and enjoy a cool drink. Like all the big Euros nowadays, the Benz has the ride, noise and feel formula pretty much nailed. You can hear the powertrain below, but forget about having to raise your voice to chat. You're beautifully insulated from those bits that missed out on the roading budget, but you know they're there, and as for wallowing, it's now an 80s, 90s Euro truck bad memory. Privacy and anti-fatigue lights are a fantastic addition and work supremely well. The dash is classical steer Euro, but that's fine. Having sampled the new range a few times now, we're used to the layout. Apart from gears on the right stalk and beam blinkers and wipers on the left, the show is conducted via a central screen in a chapters and pages format that's easy to follow and programmable to your preferences. For those pondering the future, look no further. Although the Ranui trucks will really run together, we were lucky enough to have them in series on the run south the night we were with them. Both trucks are bristling with tech, EBS, ASR, stability control and disc brakes, all the fruit. Johnny, following Mark, set up the proximity control crews and active brake assist, and were essentially a platoon all the way from the city of Sales to Stag Park. It was pretty damn cool, we must say. Johnny's truck tows a new six-axle B-train that's a collaborative effort between Ranui Haulage, Roadmaster and Carrier. The first 36 pallet chiller unit on the road, 
Mark said there was some scepticism from the suppliers about whether the single underslung chiller would be up to the requirement, but the unit has blown everyone away with how well it's performed. By far the best way to sum it all up is in the words of Johnny Bacon. You can do a lap from Auckland to Christchurch and feel like you've done nothing at all.